What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie 290, they come to your again through the power of the internet. And of course, Desi's here. Hi. And we are in downtown Gravit, Arkansas. And I look at this sleepy little road. You would not expect the place that you're about to see. This is like if GameStop bought a pet store. We're talking 80s retro merch. We're talking video game merch. We're talking Legos. We're talking pet supplies. What were the chances of those two things converging in a small town like Gravit, Arkansas? Trust me, this place, you gotta wait and see it. Okay, look at these mock arcade games. We have Southpaw, we have Quasar, we have Fox Run, and then whatever this is, just my goodness. Ooh, I wanna play that game. Am I got a quarter? This is really cool. I love this sleazy mart. Kinda of, kind of great theming. Okay, so you're kind of young. Tell me what this is. Do you know what this is? It's a phone. Yeah, step inside. Okay, how would you use this phone? That's the yeah, okay. All right, what are you missing now? You're missing one important thing. Oh, money. Yeah. I don't have any. Wow, well, when a Gen Zer meets a, a payphone. Whoa. It's like, where do you slide your credit For card? a good time to call. <laughs> back here in the back, Viva La Video, but taking a look down here. Look at these retro games and retro movies. I don't feel like these are the original games or boxes. I feel like these are mock boxes, but still they are freaking cool, man. E.T. phone, oh, E.T. touch my finger. Mm. They have a ton of these Japanese snacks, which, you know, I like to try them from time to time. I especially like the really weird chip flavors, but there weren't any really weird chip flavors this time. Also, they make those really weird Kit Kat flavors but the ones they had here, green tea, all relatively normal stuff. So I wasn't too blown away. None of the stuff was that different from what you get from other places, but it is just nice to see them. A little bit of Halloween stuff, but they had a tremendous amount of Lego stuff, which is not what you expect at a pet store. This place, as it's called, is Pet Pop, and it was originally a pet store. Uh, and you see the pet supplies here and there all over the place, but this tremendous amount of Legos was very surprising to me. But, I mean, Legos are popular, and it's nice to have a, a, a place to get them. I was surprised to see the Avatar ones here, but I guess they sell well when the Avatar movies come out. We have a new one coming out eventually. Here's a ton of 80s memorabilia and toys, and of course, Gremlins has to be here. I loved the Gremlin toys. Kind of wanted to pick one up. The Stranger Things stuff, which is like new retro. Of course, I'm always knocking stuff over. I have to pick it up. Care Bears. Ninja Turtles. I mean, we all remember this stuff. There's Cynthia from Rugrats. The Dinosaurs from the ABC show. I bet most of you guys don't remember that. Bob Ross, of course, had its resurgence recently. Tons of socks, which I think makes sense because they're cheap to stop, and everybody needs them, but it's nice to see them on the shelf. She found a Pikachu item. Here's the actual dog toys and dog section, and I was kind of hoping to get, I don't know, some 80s themed dog toys. I don't know if those really exist. They didn't seem to have a lot of that, but a gizmo for the boys to chew on would be nice, though. Honestly, it's a waste of money with my new poodle. Uh, my mini poodle just destroys everything he gets his hands on, including things that aren't toys. But yeah, aquarium stuff, reptile stuff, fish supplies, dog supplies, cat supplies. In the video rental style room in the back, they had all of these 80 graphics keys. I'm always so frustrated because I know I need to lose weight to be able to buy these graphic keys off the shelf. Uh, though you can find them in my size on Amazon these days. But just 
an amazing collection. Oh, and an actual jigsaw figure to go with the 80s horror section. All the 80s horror monsters very well represented here, including Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I got to do the Haunted House at Universal. I've been a big fan of the movie. It's so silly, so goofy, so fun to watch. Jason, both versions of Pennywise. And they're all here for you. I even love the fact that there's socks back here for these as well, along with the collectibles, cheap collectibles, as well as expensive collectibles. These were certainly a lot more expensive. But to the horror fan, you gotta have your aliens, you gotta have your Jasons. These figures would look great anywhere. The vinyl here in the back. Talk about a major resurgence. I never would have thought vinyl would have been popular after cassettes and after CDs. This section still themed like the new release section of a video store. Here's their latest toys, their latest collectibles, their latest items. Star Wars, of course, is always going to be whoever is represented in these places, especially Baby Yoda. Had to support the local business. Got a couple of things. Desi, what did you get? Okay, so I got this Stranger Things plushie because it was so cute. Oh, it's and so then cute. He picked out Mechi. Look at this little, little. They had a lot of weird Japanese candies. I like Japanese candies, Japanese chips, Japanese snacks. Problem is, I'm on a diet. I can't be eating a lot of it, but something like this I can share with the household. Let's see if they're good. But thank you for to the owner of these small businesses, the other place can do hardware as well as Pet Pop. They're doing some really interesting stuff and it's nice seeing this interesting stuff, not just in local Northwest Arkansas, but all the way out in Gravit, which is so far away from like that big epicenter. This is a small town being served with nerd culture and I love it. So God bless you guys for doing it. And thank you for watching the video as always. Thanks for watching. I love you very much. And I will speak with you again soon. Bye. Bye.